Let's take a tour of Music B. So when we first open up Music B, we see we have a list of all of our songs here in this middle area. On this left sidebar, we can see artists. And over here, we can see our queue for songs that we want to play. For example, if I drag this song over here, and notice now we're creating our queue for music to be played. And we can see thumbnails, the track name, as well as the artist and the duration. Here we can see track information. If you check this arrow, you can choose to show track information, lyrics, and choose how you want to see the information, whether you're seeing information about a song that's being played or a song that you select. For example, if I select selected tracks, now when I click on a song, it will show me information about that song. Otherwise, it will only show information about a song that's being played. Down here, we have our playback controls for seeking back, pause, play, seeking forward, and a volume slider. We can set our rating for the song. We can seek through the song here. Look at the song's name, artist, duration, and if we click the duration, we can change how it looks. Here, we can click this to bring up the equalizer and DSP settings. As well as repeat and shuffle. You'll notice here, we see the number of files that we have in our library, as well as the size, the duration, and our queue. At the top, we can select one of these letters to quickly seek through our library. At the top, we have these tabs. For example, this is a playlist, top 25 most played are now playing, which will bring up information about the song and the artist that we're currently listening to. Our playlist tab, our music explorer, where we can see more detailed information about our artists, their albums and their profile. And notice much of this information is coming off the internet. But we get, as you can see, detailed information about their top tracks, albums, and so forth. We can view similar artists, as well as information about the genre. Podcasts, and we'll look at podcasts later in this series. But you can add podcasts and play them directly in Music Beat. And of course, our music tab, which we can see all of our music. We can close these tabs if we want. For example, I'll close the playlist tab and the music explorer and the podcast. I tend to mostly stick in the music tab. And you can add a tab here as well. And get to those same areas by looking here on the sidebar. For example, if I wanted to go to Auto DJ. And close that. Open a new tab and go to, for example, Music Explorer again. Over here, we have controls for managing our panels. Everything in Music B is basically a panel. This area is a panel. This area is a panel. And these panels allow you to customize what information you see. For example, maybe in this main panel, we want to look at not just track information, but maybe we want to look at album and track information. And if we click this, now we see, not only do we see the tracks, but also the artist information. Or maybe we want to look at just the artist, and we can do that. We can also adjust our sidebars. We can show the left sidebar here, which 
allows us to see our browser. And in this browser area, we can see tabs for our music, playlists, and services. And we can also browse our system, such as my music folder, my downloads folder, and our file system. I'll go back over here and bring up the arranged panels. We'll have a look at this later. But this is where you can modify the panels in more detail. For example, if I wanted to show the column browser and hit apply, now I see a little browser where in this middle area where I can see the genre, artist, and album, and so forth. I'll change that back. We'll look at that later. So as you can see, the interface is quite customizable. I'll go back and change the main area to show just my tracks. You can also change how this AZ bar display by going to main panel and choosing vertical. And now it's vertical. So maybe you like that instead. I like to keep it the way it is. So I'll go back to main panel and do horizontal. Here, you can also modify how the menu bar is displayed. Right now it's shown as a button over here, as you can see. But you can also choose to show it as a caption bar. So now we have a, a traditional menu and you can also choose to display it below where it's below the title bar. I'm going to move it back to caption bar. Over here we have search. So you can search for songs such as sound. You will see all the songs that have first sounds from the ground. If we go back to this menu, we'll go through and click on this music B menu. You have options for arranging your panels, editing your preferences, selecting a skin, and switching player mode. For example, the mini player and the compact player. In our menus, we can add files to our library, view our playlists, create playlists, open a stream that's opening a URL. We have basic options such as cut, copy, and paste, finding. We can export our settings as a file and load them up in the, in case we mess up our settings we just want to reinstall our settings. Here we can go into theater mode, look at our visualizers, and we can import and export our panel layout. You can also go back to the arrange panels window here. Under controls we have our equalizer, DSP settings, Scrubbing, repeat, shuffle, crossfade, gain, and so forth. And our tagging tools. Under tools, we have various tagging options and we'll go through all of those later in this series. Downloading artwork and organizing our files. We have a disk burner. We can make CDs and control the volume. We can also compress our library and rescan for files. So that's a little tour of Music B. In the next video, we're going to be looking at manually adding music in Music B and organizing them into our library.